Welcome to this Info Security Europe podcast. I'm Robert Hannigan. I'm chairman of Blue Voyant International, which is a global cybersecurity services company specializing particularly in managed security services and supply chain risk. And formerly, I was a director of GCHQ, the UK's largest intelligence and cybersecurity agency, and spent 20 years in the UK government in this space. I'm going to be talking on Tuesday morning on the keynote stage at 10 a.m. about the rising tide of threats, nation state and criminal, and the trends that we are worrying about at the moment and that the CISOs in particular that I talk to are really focused on at the moment. In particular, I want to talk about uh, ransomware, how ransomware is changing. I've certainly seen in the industries, I'm sure you have, uh, a tidal wave of ransomware in the last two years and growing sophistication both in its delivery and what it does once it's delivered. Second thing I really want to focus is on, on supply chain. Uh, everybody I meet is worrying about supply chain. However well their own perimeter, their own networks are defended, they're realizing that they're connected to this big ecosystem of vendors and suppliers, and each of them represents some threat. So getting your head around that and trying to assess and then reduce that risk is a major headache for everybody. I think the events of last weekend, the Kaseya attack in the United States really brings home the importance of these two areas. So a combination of ransomware on a large and sophisticated scale, but also delivered through the supply chain. And those are the two things which just by coincidence I'm talking about, but come together in the Kaseya attack. And this is having a huge real world impact right across uh, economies not just in North America and Europe, but right across the world, is leading to business interruption, to massive losses, at least $20 billion in the last year. Uh, and it's leading to a, a lack of confidence in services um, that are dependent on technology, which is pretty much everything during the pandemic. So this is a really serious issue. And I think one that governments are beginning to turn their minds to now they're getting their heads through the immediate crisis of the pandemic. Every year, Infosecurity Europe is a fantastic opportunity to, do, to meet old friends, to network. Uh, and I find to, to see what's happening, what's new, what are the trends people are worrying about, what are the innovations that they're coming up with to meet some of the threats. Uh, it's really a, a great occasion. Of course, it's not going to be physical this year, which is a shame, but actually, a lot of that can go on online, as we found over the last year. So I'm really looking forward to that get together, I guess, uh, virtual, not physical, but still meeting old friends and looking at new trends and innovation. Thank you for listening to this Info Security Europe podcast.